Michael Buckley. What the buck? He was one of the shooting stars of the early YouTube platform. Known for his comedic approach and his news commentary, he was one of the first YouTubers that broke out on the scene and got up to 300,000 subscribers on the platform. He was pretty much a spearhead of popular culture in the earlier days of the YouTube platform. He intermingled with all of the earlier YouTubers, even doing kind of collaborations with people like Philip DeFranco and the Vlog Brothers. Sassy gossip, glee fan, just all of the geekiness that you expect. One of the real first gay forerunners on the platform as well. What the Buck was a show where he basically lampooned the media at the time, telling you his version of what's happening in the media. All the gossip, all the celebrity stuff, that kind of thing. After eight years of being on the platform in 2014, Michael decided that he was gonna take a break. The schedule of making daily videos was just tiring. And I honestly understand that. Grinding out daily content was how I started on the YouTube platform. And since then I've started this YouTube channel. He wanted to focus on his own personal projects. Have a look at some personal endeavors. Have a look at his personal life in general. And obviously if you're part of the first wave of YouTube fame, then there was a lot of doors opening that you kind of had to explore for a while and still understand that you're trying to remain on the YouTube treadmill, which back then the algorithm was brutal. I mean, it still is. But back then it was publishing and views and that was it. Since ending What the Buck, Michael's gone off to make podcasts, writing books and even performing in live shows. He's continued to engage on his social media and just generally engage with his community, which is quite loyal and sticks alongside him. Occasionally he pops up on YouTube and other platforms, but he, he's pretty much retired from the social media scene these days. While What the Buck was quite pivotal to his career and to YouTube. He's now transitioned to other kind of media things. He's well respected, very much beloved by early YouTube adopters and didn't disappear with any real stain on him. And I'll be honest, that's quite rare for most of the people that I talk about on these where are they now videos. I was very entertained by Michael Buckley when I was younger. Check out this playlist here and see what happened to Sam Pepper and Tabuscus and other people like that.